All right, here's the latest update on the uh, wiper motor. Um, when I last turned it on, I noticed it was getting really, really hot. And so I cobbled together this heat sink here, which is a simple copper coupling that I picked up at uh, local Home Improvement Center for under two dollars. I split it and then as you can see I hammered out the ends of the split so I'd have a flat interface for these two big old honkin uh, heat sinks that I scavenged from some old AMD Sempron computers. Um, hooked up the fans, got them wired into the 12 volt supply off of the power supply unit and uh, <clears throat> the resultant temperature is 123.6 degrees which is 20 degrees cooler than the 140 I was getting. The motor itself is still really really hot to the touch. I do not have a very good interface. You can still see daylight in here. I'm going to see if I can't find something to help fill that gap. Um, I took one of the heat sinks off of the uh, the chipset and I put it onto the transmission here and the transmission is a lot cooler. Uh, I'm very pleased about that. But I... There's a little nodule there. Probably the the brush in the, the copper, br not copper, graphite brush in this motor. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to avoid that, but it's 20 degrees cooler, so that, that makes me a little happy. The heat sinks themselves are nice and cool. The copper is warm to the touch. I'm using this clamp to just keep it tight as I can on the, on the motor. Uh, voltage coming off of the power supply unit is 10.3 volts uh, with the load. It's a proper 12 volts with the load on there. It, 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 but it, it's working and it's not making a lot of noise. Uh, we'll see when the AC motor arrives and I manage to put together the uh, rectifying full wave, you yeah, know, the full wave rectifier, see if that'll work better. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this. I'm going to work a little more on my improvised heat sink, see if I can get a better interface and, and bring it down a few more degrees. Anyway, there we are. DC motor running the bicycle wheel.